In the last video, I talked about how to respond in puffs. In this video, I'll dig in to discuss what's my sequence of depowering when the wind increases persistently. Sitting in the bay, the UU forecast is small craft advisory with wind 15 to 25 knots and a gust up to 30 plus knots. It's crucial to depower the sails accordingly. In the puff response, I either lower the traveler or ease the manship because they are the quickest way to depower. When the wind velocity increases persistently after the boat has reached its whole speed, any more wind overpowers the sails, increasing drag, not lift. The boat hails excessively with the leeway increased. In the situations like this, the first things I usually do are to flatten the sail shapes, increase the loft tension and widen the slot between the jib and the main using bubble hauler. To flatten the sails, I tighten out hole hauler the Cunningham and the backstay if it's adjustable. These adjustments also open the leech. If the boat is still overpowered, lower the traveler to the leeward, or what I prefer to do is to ease the van and ease the main. Easing the main makes the bottom part of the sail slightly fuller, but the twist the upper leech open that contributes to the most of the healing moment. Make sure adjusting jib trim accordingly to keep the slot open without stalling the main. Sometimes when the wind suddenly increases significantly, it stretches the background sail and creates a deep pocket, making it very difficult to be flattened under load. It's time to reef. Besides the commonly known benefit of reducing the sail area, smaller sails can also be trimmed flatter. I usually turn downwind to hide the jib behind the main before furling it. To reef the main turn into the wind with the main sheet eased and loft, I also reefed well in hove too. In waves, the apparent wind changes as the mast pitches fore and aft. Add a twist to the sails to compensate and maintain a wider groove. In summary, first flatten the sails, then ease and twist the leech open. In the last, reduce the sail area and keep the sail flat and twist it off after reefing. Okay, that's all for today's video. I'll see you in the next one.